Pat a third pound or smaller piece of clay into a ball, similar to how you would start a pinch pot. Now compress the clay into a log. Begin pressing your thumb inwards to make a tube. Squeeze the upper third area in to make a neck. Pinch out any thick areas. Try to keep the back flat with the sides extending outward. Trim the sides bottoms so they do not lay on the table surface. My back isn't as flat as it should, so I'm darting it narrower. Compress the bottom front inward and under to make the feet. Pull the back out and flatten to create tail feathers. In the top area, compress into a rectangular shape. Then press each end into a pyramid-like shape. This will create the beak. I'm again fixing the back. Always make sure to slip and score your attachments. My water is just off screen. Smooth out any rough cracks, but save most for nesting for later, when the pie butter is a bit drier. Pussing too much now often creates more work later. I am recutting the bottom sides in a semicircle. This is for airflow.
If your tail is short, take some clay and pinch it out. Then slip and score the new tail to the bird. Trim the tail into an oval-like shape. With a needle tool or pointed rubber tool, Carve the outline for wings and beak. Add an eye to each side of the head. Carve a hole in the beak that connects all the way through the bird. This will let steam escape. Here are some examples of pie birds I've made. The whitest one is a commercially produced pie bird. 